What's going on guys, welcome to today's video. Um, so we basically have skipped a full week of training um, from the last time that we spoke. Um, uh, that week I just didn't really want to film very much. Um, I just didn't really feel like filming very much when it came to edit the video. You know, there was very little to show you so I just thought, you know, we'll just wait till this week is up. Um, so this was the week that has just passed and it was a successful week. Um, this, in my opinion, was definitely a tough week. Um, I, I feel that mentally and physically, uh, I kind of almost peaked out with my my fatigue management. You know, I feel that physically, I was um, I was feeling pretty good. You know, I wasn't feeling bad, but mentally, you know, I just feel that things almost got a little bit on top, and my mental fatigue almost kind of peaked out a little bit, and it was having. Um, some negative impacts on my attitude towards training. Um, you know, training went really, really well. You know, my top single, my top double, um, I hit two ninety five kilos for an all time personal best. A double that was rated at an eight and a half RPE. Um, I hit an all time double on the pause deadlifts rated at an eight RPE, which was two two eighty five. Sorry, it was actually rated at um, an RPE seven. You know, so training was really, really good. But what wasn't good was my attitude towards training. You know, I had a um, quite a negative attitude towards it in the sense of, you know, my men fatigue mentally just kind of had peaked um, between um, a, num a lot of factors, you know. Um, and I, over the weekend, you know, had a good job of kind of getting some really, really good rests and was able to kind of manage things a little bit better. Um, and it sure as hell paid off on yesterday's session, on Monday's session. Um, but that you'll be seeing um, tomorrow. But anyway, to get back, I know that this is all jumbled a lot, um, and to be honest, my thoughts, or this voiceover is probably a little bit jumbled as well. I'm currently voicing this over as I um, have just finished my caffeine for today's session, um, but um, it's pretty hard to keep track of because there's lots of load drops and things like that, so I'm just kind of showing you one set of each, and if, you, if it's a little bit confusing, then I um, understand that and I apologise, um, but it is what it is, you know, there's, there's, there's not really very much I can do, I'm just kind of putting towards the footage that I have, and um, this training meet was five weeks out, so this, tra this training meet that I'm currently on, um, as I'm voicing this over on Tuesday, it's four weeks out and um, things are already off to a flyer. You know, they're, 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 they're really, really good. And we're just kind of, I'm just kind of hoping um, it goes that way. We're starting to see that, you know, um, I, I feel this week anyway, you know, so I'm talking about um, this current week that we're on. Um, fatigue is starting to dissipate enough so that I'm starting to feel better in the sessions, whereas I feel the, the week that you're seeing here, the previous week, um, fatigue was, the, 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 the accumulated fatigue or my fatigue debt was still very high, which wasn't allowing me to feel very good during sessions, but the intensities and loads were very high. And because of that, um, I just feel I had quite a negative attitude towards training last week. Again, it didn't reflect on my performances. I feel my performances were very, very good. I just was feeling a bit, a, a, a bit annoyed with training because um, I just mentally wasn't handling things as well as I usually do and the, 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 the way I feel I should have. And then that kind of was almost like a downward spiral because, again, of course, um, I then get annoyed with myself and it's just kind of cyclical, you know. But I kept everything in check, you know. I, I made sure food intake, supplement intake, water intake was all on point with recovery work, everything. I didn't skip in, out in anything. Um, and, you know, you, you're just going to have those weeks. You might have those weeks. Um, I've had those as weeks. I've had them as days. I've had them as months. I mean, I've had them as, tra as whole training cycles, you know? Like, my whole training cycle leading up to Worlds was just atrocious. Um, you know, it really was. It was awful. And I know you probably realised that there was very little videos at that time as well, even on Instagram. You know, I'd tore my right hamstring seven weeks out. I tweaked my left hamstring six weeks out. Um, I had hip bursitis, um, which is basically inflammation of the bursa in your hip joint caused by um, extreme dysfunction in my hips. You know, I couldn't squat the bar without a seven out of 10 pain. Um, even though I still worked up to like 300 kilo sets, um, which was ridiculously stupid, but you know, it made it work. Um, you know, but you persevere and you push through and you know, I had the best competition in my life at the World Championships, which 
you know, based off training probably didn't deserve to have, but you know, I persevered and it worked. And it's the same, you're gonna have bad weeks, you're gonna have bad times, you know, you just sometimes have to just persevere, you know. Um and yes, this session was oh. fucking awesome. It was so good. You know, Monday's session, um third of October was just so good and you know it just made persevering all that much better. You know, when you're going through some bad times. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to motivate you here. Uh, I don't believe that there's such a thing as a motivational speaker. If someone says something to you that you find motivating, it's more that it resonates with you um, and you recognise it. And it's probably already thoughts you've been having. It's just always good to hear from someone else. Um, but, you know, if you're going through some bad times, things aren't feeling really good, persevere um, and it will all eventually come together. Nothing nothing will ever last forever, no matter how good it is or no matter how bad it is, whether that be with training, life, anything. You know, persevere through the bad weeks and the good weeks will follow.